Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet magazine, with a look at the kind of stocks I'd probably be looking at as a day trader if I was not editor of Spreadbet magazine. Uh, starting off with rare earth minerals, and it can be seen that there's been a rising trend channel here on the daily chart since August. Um, some base building in the recent past, uh, late October, uh, towards the floor of that channel, and then the uh, break uh, to the upside through uh, one pence. In fact, as high as uh, 1.2 pence plus yesterday, and we're, but we're now back at the floor of the channel at 0 0.8 pence. Uh, probably still a buying opportunity. Uh, I'm sure a few uh, wheat bulls have been sort of sucked in and uh, spat out over the past 24 hours, but uh, the RSI uh, uptrend line is holding, as, as is the floor of the August channel. So really, probably one would, would want to give the benefit of the doubt here to the stock while there's no sustained price action, say, below 0 0.7 pence. I mean, you've got to give these situations a degree of leeway. Uh, as far as the upside is concerned, probably above 0 0.7, uh, would, I would be looking for a retest of September resistance at 1.5 pence as a sort of best case scenario for November. Uh, another equally uh, traded and followed stock is Motive Television. Here we see the shares in, in a little trouble. Uh, there's been a break of an RSI support line from August at uh, the 50 level. The RSI is now 44. And we seem to be struggling uh, either side of the falling 200-day moving average, currently at 0 0.021 pence, just below where we are now. Uh, would want to give the shares the benefit of the doubt, say, down to 0 0.02 or a little bit below that. Uh, but the problem is it does look as though we, we the shares want to. Uh, retest, uh, say, August support uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, probably the best way to play this, uh, given the uncertainty, would really be to wait for a weekly close above October resistance, just under 0 0.03 pence, uh, before uh, getting in on the long side aggressively and targeting September resistance towards 0 0.045 pence plus. Uh, to finish off, I've got uh, Bushveld Minerals, which in some ways may be the most exciting uh, prospect of the three. Uh, here it does look like uh, we might have a sustainable or sustained uh, push off the floor of a broadening uh, triangle formation in place since uh, October last year. The floor of this formation is at 3 pence, the share price currently at 3.41 pence, and the chances are that if we get an end of day close above the 20 day moving average at 3.63 pence, uh, we could be off to the races on the upside. This is because there's no obvious resistance really between uh, current levels and the former July uh, support at 6 pence, uh, which also ties in with the 50-day moving average at 6.4 pence. Uh, there's also bullish divergence in the RSI window. And also, if we deliver, we have uh, an end-of-day close uh, delivered above RSI 30, which is a recent RSI resistance, that would be a buy signal as well. So we have a sort of double... RSI buy signal and the double rebound off the floor of uh, this one year uh, formation. So basically, uh, I'm looking for uh, decent uh, progress here and decent upside. So uh, uh, a bullish situation uh, in prospect to finish off there. That's it from me. See you again next time.